everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. I'm Karen, this is Dawn, and we have another great episode for you today. If you watch these episodes, you'll remember there was um, an episode where I went ghost hunting in Tombstone, Arizona. But I do have a fair amount of footage of what happened prior to that ghost hunting uh, adventure, and that was that we just kind of walked around Tombstone and I did a little ghost hunting of my own. And I was able to go in, at, you know, a few buildings and um, there was one building, oh my gosh, where I picked up a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And so much so I got nauseous, Which, like quite nauseous. Yeah, and that's a sign that yeah. you're definitely picking up on something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how did you compare the two? Like you, you were your own tool and then you also went on the ghost hunting with the EMF and the temperature gauge. Yeah, it was interesting because when I went on the ghost hunting tour, I didn't feel nauseous at all. So in this one building in particular, um, it, it's called the bird cage theater. There were a lot of shootouts in there and it also is one of the only buildings in tombstone that didn't burn down wow boy there was a lot going around where i didn't notice that much in the in the other places we went in mm -hmm. in the tour so so when i mentioned it to the woman who ran the tour she said oh yeah i can't even go in there because mm -hmm. you said so, she's really sensitive too. she's sensitive yeah. too yeah well, let's play the video. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. Okay, so what I feel here is there is some sort of uh, energy here and um, I can tell because as soon as I walked over here my heart rate started to go up um, my uh, breathing got a little labored um, just feel a little nauseous so I kind of asked who this person was um, she kind of laughed actually at me noticing her and yeah, she's a female <laughs> Obviously, it was here at, in its day at the time. She didn't play the, I just asked if she played the piano. She said no. She liked the piano music. Uh, she worked here. And that's about it. All right. Mm -hmm. So the interesting thing was the names that I picked up. And so I picked up um, two names. One was, I thought it was Sandy. 
I got Sandy. Her name's Sadie. Um, had a bordello room mm -hmm. in that building. Now she didn't die in the building. So when I asked the, you know, person that ran the gift shop uh, about her, she said, "Oh, she wouldn't be connected to this building because she didn't die here." And from what I understand about ghosts, is they don't have to die in a place to be attached to a place. Mm -hmm. So I kind of mentioned that at the time, but it was clear the person I was talking to didn't really understand mm -hmm. spirit connection or ghost hunting. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of interesting. And then the other one was killed and had been known to walk around town. And I actually think he followed me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he did. Oh, he's like, yeah. oh, there's someone who I can, yeah. There's someone I can connect to, mm -hmm. and that's what ghosts tend to do, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. my goodness, that's so cool. So it was, it was interesting. It was, it was interesting to go in there and not know who these people were until after. Yes. You know, so it was, it was just kind of fun if you find that kind of thing fun. I kind of do, right? Yeah, so do I. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, Especially some place that has as much history as Tombstone. Right, yeah. right. When do you get a chance to kind of do that? And um, so the only thing is, is the, the nauseousness and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. But you know what? Um, so we went out afterwards to eat burgers and sarsaparilla, because that's what you do in t Tombstone, <laughs> right? And um, and eating something helps, you know, ground Around. the energy. And, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I started to feel much better after, but... It, I didn't really get a lot until we went into that one building. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. That is really cool. Like, yeah. I love the fact that that we can go into places and we can pick up on things because it just, I don't know, it's so much fun. And yeah. then when you go and you do a tour and you have the readers and it confirms yeah. um, the same kind of feelings or the same information, then it just kind of shows that... We're amazing tools on our own. Yeah, we don't need those tools. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we brought those tools into the Birdcage Theater, how they would have been going off. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they would have. Yeah. But anyway, I think another takeaway from, from this episode is remember you are your own tool. So if you're somewhere and you're getting feelings of something, trust that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I had the privilege of doing a tour with a, a company that does all the fancy readers like they didn't just have like the handheld emfs and the temperature gauge they had like huge speaker systems and everything mm -hmm. at the cne in toronto mm -hmm. and uh, so i got to go with them and as i went through i would feel what i feel it's mostly in my heart and then they would come up behind me and sure enough when it, it pretty much matched their machines would go mm -hmm off the chart just as just after I had sensed it and I remember um being in a one of the secret bar rooms that they had in the back and uh the the bartender was known for the shaving a haircut oh yeah yeah or whatever it is. um so they did it they did the and then waited didn't hear anything and kept going through the room and all of a sudden I picked up on do it again slower oh, uh -huh. oh so they went and then way off in the distance we heard <laughs> so i mean it was really cool God. like i wish we had recorded that i know i wish but I, it was before like i was oh yeah I was, it was before yeah, we started, before we started the youtube but uh yeah it was uh really neat because they didn't pick up on it in their machine but mm -hmm. because I was there and also in direct contact with the ghost, right? I was able to say, "Hey, listen, they're they're saying do it again." Yeah. And then they were able to to do a really good show for the people who were watching. What did they say when you told them that? And then they thought it was really they had a lot of questions about yeah. medium because I guess they they hadn't really had too many with them. But they um, we really liked working side by side and comparing because it it really did match really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's where I got to learn how the sounds, cause in those machines, it's so fuzzy. It's like a broken down walkie talkie and it can be really quick. Like, hello, 
Oh yeah. That's it. Right. And that's supposed to be hello. It's yeah. not very clear. So working with them, um, for those several hours was really cool because then I got to become a lot more familiar with the sounds of the words. Mm -hmm. Um, cause they do it all the time. So they were used to it. So it was Mm -hmm. Neat to hear the word in my head, but then also hear the words in the machines. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, fun. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you get to go on your own ghost tour. And if you are interested, there are several in Toronto. Mm -hmm. We definitely recommend the ones down in Tucson. And mm -hmm. uh, I had a ghost tour in, well, I think we were in Jerome. Oh, Jerome. That makes more sense. Yes. Yeah. Another ghost town. So that episode is coming up. Um, I'm excited to share that with you all coming soon. Yeah, and tell us whether you like these episodes on our ghost hunting, you know, whether you find that interesting or not. Or if you have somewhere, you know, local to Toronto GTA, um, that you would suggest that we go and check out. Mm -hmm. Love to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. We should go back to Ace one day too. Oh, yes. But remember, there's another restaurant down there we had to go to. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we might have a few more coming our way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and tuning in this week. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Maybe hit the subscribe button. It really helps us. And uh, if you'd be like to be notified of when the episodes come out every Saturday, hit that bell. Uh, but we hope you enjoy the videos. We hope to have more coming your way yeah. and uh, we hope that you have a great weekend. Yeah. So until next time, take care everyone. Bye.